when you sign to a record label, you don't know that you sign your life over and that your wife really ain't gonna care about you because the minute you fall off, they'll find another Noriega, they'll find another B-Real. So, you know, you just need to hit your shit hot, stack your chips, do what you need to, and then get out the game because this is just, it's just like the drug game because it's even worse though, because in the drug game, you can shoot him and kill him. And then in this game, somebody jerk you over, you gotta be humble. No matter what you just been through, shit has gotta be all right. You gotta be all good, everything's gotta be up and up. Just see somebody, slap hands with them, give them a pound, whatever it is. But you always gotta act like it ain't shit. And guess what? So you wanna be a rap superstar, live large, big house, five cars, I'm in charge. Coming up in the world, I don't trust nobody. Gotta look over my shoulder constantly. My old tag partner is someone who hit me over the fucking head with a steel chair in one of the biggest matches of my career up, at that, up to that point. So on and so say, let me just say, I do gotta look over my shoulder constantly. He's my buddy now. He is my mate. CM Loaf is my buddy. CM Loaf is my mate. I never know what CM Loaf got cooking up. I never knew what somebody might have cooking up. So I always, that's why I always stay on point. That's why I always am one step ahead. I had to become the Action's Hardcore Champion because I know what it takes to be a superstar. I know what it takes. Stoneface didn't, and that's why I have the belt. Stoneface is more than welcome to try and get the belt back. The Quarry is more than welcome to try and get the belt back. But you know what? I'm gonna extend it even further. Everyone in the back that wants this, you can come get it from me. It is around my waist if it's on my way to the if I'm on my way to the ring. And it's around my cold, dead body. If you think you're gonna take this, this is some shit I cherish. This is the actions, hardcore shit. You listen now. I know I once had a notion that this belt, you know, it means more to you guys than it does to me. And you know what? Objectively, so it does. I'm a world champion holding this belt. I still want to become a world champion. Maybe it'll be look good to have an actions hardcore world heavyweight champion. Undisputed champion. You know, there, there is a world championship now. One that Blitz has, and congratulations, the guy shows up to work, so guess what? One way or another, I want my shot. And you can do whatever you think you're gonna do to hold me back. You can, hell, it looked like you have some troubles with Kane or, you know, I, I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with you. But you know right now, you hold the tournament, you hold, you do whatever you gotta do. Defend whoever you got to defend against. Because one way or another, the snake is going to slither in. The vice is going to wrap around your throat. And it's going to slowly, painfully start to take everything you give a damn about away from you, Blitz. And it is just the way it's supposed to be. I designed it this way. Because in every actions medium, who has been there on the tug of my tail? Blitz. In the fucking NBA T. Who is exploiting my awful decision making and got me to trade him a fucking championship team? It was Colin Powell Bo. And guess what? Then I started going to other leagues. Colin Palbo became a more successful name in my own shit than me too many times. And I am about sick of it. And this motherfucker, I thought I was done with him. I thought I was done with him. But now he's got comeuppance. Now he shows his face. Now he's a world heavyweight champion. So if it's a friendly competition or not, 
I want that belt around my waist by end of days. The Elimination Chamber is 420, and God damn it, I will do everything I need to. I will beat who I need to. I will step over who I need to step over. I will win the Elimination Chamber, and I will main event end of days if it's up to me because I am Mamba Ant. If you let me get a world heavyweight championship shot, you can kiss everything you know goodbye because I just had the longest title run. Deuce is still going to play catch up to that. 193 days of dominance and I am not satisfied. I want 365. I want 420. <laughs> I want a thousand, bitch. I want it until I'm dead. You will bury me as old as Ric Flair where the World Heavyweight Championship shot in title still around my waist. So, just like old me, I'm probably gonna screw up with my English like that last sentence. But just like the current me, I'm gonna take that mistake, look you in the eye, and tell you that end of days, you will hear, here's your winner and new world heavyweight champion, Mamba Ant. This, hey, anyone in the back? Come meet me for it.